Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Today, feeling another day in the life. Excited to bring you along, show you everything I'm up to. We're gonna go do a workout together. I'm gonna take you grocery shopping, actually doing grocery shopping for the week today. Gonna show you everything I'm eating as well as just show you a little what I'm up to today. I'm excited, it's gonna be a great video. Starting off though, good cup of coffee. So I dropped the girls off at school a little bit ago, and I would say probably about four days out of the week, Carrie's working, which means I'm taking the girls to school, get them up, go through our morning routine, drop them off, and then it is time to go get some coffee and get ready for my workout. Now I have shown in the past, I would say probably about two or three days out of the week, I may have an energy drink or something like that. The other days I'm trying to stick to a clean fast, which means nothing but water or black coffee which is what I'm doing today. So I've got an Americano, which is like my go-to coffee. This is going to be my first one of the day, and this is my pre-workout. So I've got a CrossFit workout here coming up in about 30, 40 minutes. So I'm gonna enjoy this Americano. This is my pre-workout, then I'm gonna go get a CrossFit workout in. So got to CrossFit just a little early today because CrossFit Jackson Beach is doing a challenge in the month of April. It's 3,000 push-ups in the month of April, which is essentially do 100 push-ups a day every day in the month of April. I'm gonna go ahead and knock mine out. We got about 25 minutes before the workout starts and it's mostly leg today, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock these push-ups out. I gotta do 100, so I'm probably gonna do maybe five sets of 20 and get these knocked out before everyone starts showing up for the workout. First set of 20, I'm about turning the same color as my shirt. <laughs> Need to remember to breathe. Now, so today is April the 3rd, so this is my third day of 100 push-ups a day. The first day I did them in like six minutes. Yesterday I took a little longer, did them in like 10 minutes. Today I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna take my time and do them in between seven and 10 minutes. Take a few breaks in between. One of the things they tell me with CrossFit is I gotta go lower in my push-ups. And I'm used to, when I was in the army, when you did push-ups, you just had to go until you're upper arms were parallel to the ground, not necessarily chest to the ground. Hundred. Now it's time to go do the workout. So they actually post the workouts the night before at 8 p.m. they come out and I'm always looking to see what they are and I'm actually excited about today's. It's a decent amount of strength. We got find a three rep max on the back squat and then once you find that you do a set of max reps on the front squat. That I'm excited about and then deadlifts we have started doing more recently which I'm a big fan of. Wall walks I haven't really done before so we'll see how those go and handstand push-ups I don't think I'm able to do so I'll have to find something else but today actually looks like a fun workout. Great workout, thought it would be a lot of fun, decent amount of strength. The Metcon portion of the workout or like where you do as many reps as possible was two six minute rounds with a two minute rest. So that wasn't too bad. Deadlifts, which I liked. I was not very good at the wall walks and on the front squat, I was supposed to do find my three rep max on the back squat, which I did 315 and then 70% of that, which was 225, but I only got one. I was spent from the back squats and I don't front squat that much, so it was not that strong. Other than that, good workout, great start to the day. Now let's go home, get some stuff done, get on with the rest of the day. All 
All right, showered up, getting ready to get into some work, but I wanna take just a quick minute to talk about the sponsor of today's video, iRestore. Now, I have been using iRestore products for coming up on four months now, and if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know they were actually the first people to sponsor a video with me. They reached out and had a, some things that they wanted me to try in and around the world of hair loss, which is not something I talk a lot about on the channel, but it is definitely something that I have struggled with over the last few years. I noticed it when I was at my job before Publix uh, due to kind of the stress and everything putting on weight. I have been losing my hair in the shower, so I, I didn't go bald. I was absolutely noticing some hair loss in the shower. I have been using their products for about four months now, and we'll get into one of their products here in a little bit, but while we're here in the shower, I wanted to show you two of the things that I have been using, and that is their shampoo and conditioner. I have been using this for about four months now, and I would say the biggest thing that I have noticed when it comes to of my hair loss is I have stopped shedding in the shower, which if I continued at the rate that I was going, it would not be long before I was completely bald. So I use this every time I'm in the shower, it's their shampoo and conditioner, I Restore, and I'll talk about some more of their products here in a little bit. But first sponsor of the channel, and I'm excited to do kind of a four month follow up, have been using it and happy to report that the shedding in the shower has stopped. All right, now it's time to get some work done at the computer. Uh, but before we get into that, I'm gonna talk about one of the things that I'm using while I'm at the computer, and that is the iRestore device. Again, I've been using them for about four months now, and this is really the reason that I think my shedding has stopped and I have seen some improvement in my hair loss, is this low level laser and LED therapy. I do this once every other day for 25 minutes. I'm doing it one of two places. I'm either doing it when I'm here working on the computer if I'm not recording any check-in videos or I'm doing it uh, at night while I'm watching some TV. It's just 25 minutes a day. The way that the device works is you turn it on, it counts down from 20 minutes, and then as you wear it, the way that they describe it is it's kind of like watering plants, right? So are you going to see a miracle after the first time using it? No, but it's like a maintenance thing that you do. One of the things that I like about it because I am very busy all the time is that I can wear this while I'm doing other things. So the device is FDA cleared. And again, you just do this 25 minutes every other day. I've been using it now for coming up on four months and have absolutely seen an improvement in the rate of hair loss as well as uh, my hair is starting to come back just a little thicker, so I'm excited to continue on progress. And again, this is something that I'm just able to continue to do and fit it into my life. So iRestore is running a sale right now. If you use code RyanJ and follow the link in the description of this video, you can get $400 off of the purchase of a pro device. Be sure to check that out. Again, not a lot of sponsors on this channel. I only work with companies that I use the product and have seen a result. A lot of people reach out and iRestore is absolutely one that I have used and will continue to use. Again, just kind of this idea of overall health, wellness, my self-confidence was absolutely um, affected when I was shedding in the shower. And honestly, if I had not started using iRestore, I can imagine probably less than a year from now, I would have some serious hair loss issues just because every time I showered, I was pulling out clumps of hair and that is something that has stopped in these last four months. So iRestore is something that I'm going to keep using. Again, thank you to iRestore for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out. Again, follow the link in this description of the video and use code RyanJ for $400 off the purchase of a pro device. Other than that, it's time to, to get back into some work and we will see you here in a little bit when it's time to break my fast and grab something to eat. All right, just finished up about two hours worth of check-ins. It is 1.30 right now. The ribeye that I was going to have, I forgot to take out and thaw, and I gotta get some grocery shopping done. I gotta come home. I wanna have most of dinner cooked before Carrie and the girls get home, so I'm going to cut short my lunch plans. I'm actually gonna go out to eat for lunch, but it's time to break my fast now at 18 hours. And I'm gonna show you what I'm having. So I'm actually gonna break my fast with, I got a package of this beef biltong. We've been getting this from Aldi and that's actually where I'm going grocery shopping today. I may stop in at Publix, um, but we're gonna do a bulk of our shopping at Aldi today. And I'm going to break my fast now with this biltong. 
it's always a, uh, a nice, easy, simple thing, protein to break my fast. So I have fasted now for 18 hours, just broke my fast with the biltong, and my fasting schedule for today is going to be uh, just about two meals. So I like to do between 16 and 18 hours on days where I do CrossFit or any kind of heavy lifting, which I absolutely did today with the back squats. I like to get a little more food in and I like to space it out so that hopefully the protein gets absorbed better. I just feel better on days where I lift heavy doing more than the one meal. I kind of reserve that for my rest. Now, as far as what my meals are gonna look like today, I'm gonna go out shopping at Aldi and right across the street from Aldi or right next to it is a Chipotle. So I'm gonna go grab Chipotle for lunch. I'm gonna get a bowl there. I'm gonna skip the guac, things like that. I'll show you what I'm gonna eat there, but essentially I wanna make sure that I am also getting in carbs on days where I lift. So I'm gonna get a decent amount of carbs in that bowl from Chipotle. And then for dinner tonight, I'm gonna go a little lighter on the carbs and I'm gonna show you what we're having. We're gonna pick some stuff up at the grocery store, but I'm gonna finish this off and then let's go grab some lunch at Chipotle. I'm excited to eat this bowl. I could have saved a few dollars if I had not gotten a drink, but I really wanted a diet soda. Uh, but all in all, I didn't realize, <clears throat> or I had forgotten, a bowl's only like 10 bucks. As long as you don't get double meat or guacamole or everything, which is a good deal for a meal for not having to cook or clean up or do anything. So, got a steak bowl, I'm gonna shake this up. So this bowl is very similar to what it would have been if I had been doing Chipotle for my one meal today. A few differences that I would have made. So what I ended up getting was rice, pinto beans, I got steak, I got double pico de gallo, a little bit of hot, light on the sour cream, light on the cheese, and that was the bowl. All in all, this bowl is probably 800 to 1100 calorie range. It all depends on exactly how much rice they put in, sour cream, I don't stress about, you know, counting calories down to the minutia. This is 800 to 1100 calories. That's good enough for me to be able to live my life day in and day out without hyper focusing on counting calories. So if I was doing this for my one meal, I would have done three things different. I wouldn't have cared about going light on the sour cream. I would have just got a normal serving of sour cream. I would have done double steak and then I would have got the guacamole those three things combined probably would have added four to 500 calories. So now I'm looking at like an 1800 calorie single meal, give or take, you know, if I get some chips and salsa, something like that. Seeing as I am gonna eat later today and I worked out pretty heavy this morning, this is gonna be a really good meal. I like getting my carbs in a little earlier on a day like this where I have worked out. I feel like that kind of helps me just kind of recover from the workout a little better. So I'm gonna go carbs here and then I'm gonna go light on carbs later in the day. And depending on how I feel here in a few hours, it is just about two o'clock right now. I may or may not have a snack uh, before dinner, but we'll talk about what that is. Other than that, Chipotle is a great meal. 10 bucks, you cannot beat this. So in the last video, I asked who wanted to see a grocery haul and there's a lot of people that wanted to see something. So I figured I'd bring you along with me today, shopping at Aldi. Now we are a family of segmented grocery store shoppers. We have different places we shop for different reasons. I would say a decent amount of our groceries we get from Walmart. Carrie does the online grocery pickup. That's for staples, things that we get kind of like every week. It's nice to just go there, pick it up, really super convenient. Aldi's where we go if we want to do some grocery shopping and save a little bit of money. This is where we get some of our produce, a lot of our deals, things like that. And then Publix, we're going for like specific things. Uh, we like meat, produce at Publix and all of their BOGO stuff. So we kind of shop everywhere, but today it is Aldi because buying snacks and some stuff for the week uh, for the family. So go buy some stuff. I feel like those are the biggest bananas I've ever seen in my life. Those bananas are huge.
I've got some berries for the girls, and they have been eating lately these Kara Kara oranges. All right, so y'all have been seeing these all over the channel recently, and I've been buying a ton of them. It's these beef biltongs. I get the smoked flavor and the original. Again, this is just a good, simple snack. Love to break my fast with it. And on days where I am working outside of the house, the biltongs are super good because I'll throw a few of them in my bag so that if I get caught without food, it makes it simple to make a really good choice. So much of this is habit and putting ourselves in an environment to succeed. And I know in the past, if I got caught without food, started to get hungry, that's where it's really easy for me to make a bad choice. But I load up on things like the biltong, I put them in my bag, I have some of them in my car. So if I ever am hungry and caught without food, I have something and just kind of having that simple choice makes it really easy for me to kind of do the right thing. But anyways, beef biltong, big fan, try it. Aldi does have some good like private label things, things that you can only get at Aldi. And this is absolutely one of them. This dill dip, essentially it's like dill and a bunch of other seasonings in sour cream. But this dill dip is really good. We'll send this to the girls, with the girls to school with some uh, carrots to dip in. But that stuff is really good. Which reminds me, I gotta go back and get some baby carrots. So I got the biltong for me, but the girls absolutely love these Aldi turkey sticks. So dinner is gonna be fairly simple tonight. We are having some marinated salmon along with some asparagus. So we got this whole thing of salmon and it was $21. It's for like 2.6 pounds, which is a great deal. Normally we really like to get the bourbon salmon. I still think that is my favorite uh, seafood dish to get from Publix. The only downside to it is it's $8 for a single serving of the bourbon salmon. And if my memory serves me, a single serving of bourbon salmon is like six ounces. Um, so that is like, you would get a pound for like $20. Whereas I got two and a half pounds, it was $21. Now I'm gonna make the marinade myself. Granted, it's not going to be as good as the bourbon salmon, but it's still gonna be really good. We actually did it the other night. And the only thing that I'm gonna do different that we didn't do the other night was I'm going to vacuum seal and marinate it for an hour or two before we cook it. Whereas last time I just kind of basted it, put it on top and this comes with the skin on. So I'm going to the skin off before I get started. This is something that I had to do when I worked at Publix in the seafood department. Now look at that. I got that whole thing with the skin off and left hardly any of the meat on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into the portions. This is about the size of the bourbon salmon that you would get from Publix, and that is $8 a piece. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven times eight, I can't do math. Seven times seven is 49. Alexa. What's seven times eight? Seven times eight is 56. 56. So this would have been $56 worth of bourbon salmon. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get the marinade together. All right, so I got the ingredients ready for the marinade. I'm going to end up doubling the recipe just because I want to make sure if I end up having to do like two bags worth of uh, vacuum seal, I want to make sure that I have enough. But it calls for one cup of pineapple juice. After the one cup of pineapple juice, we're gonna do one cup of soy sauce. Half a cup of brown sugar. One teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. 
and then it calls for a half a cup of canola oil, but I'm going to do olive oil instead of canola. And the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm gonna add some because I think it's gonna be really good. Whisk all of this together. I'm gonna get my vacuum seal bag, and once I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do four per bag since I got eight. And I'm gonna take a little less than half because I wanna reserve some. This is actually my first time using my food saver for something like this. Normally I'm sealing up the steaks to cook in the sous vide, but I think this is gonna make them marinade really well. Again, I've never used the food saver with this much liquid before, but I could hear it like boiling almost. All right, these are ready to go. I'll put these in the fridge for a few hours. All right, well, I got the salmon marinating in the refrigerator. It is about four o'clock right now. Carrie's about to get home with the girls. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a snack. We're probably gonna get, do dinner in a few hours, but starting to get a little hungry from lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some Greek yogurt with a little bit of granola and some raw unfiltered honey, some local honey that we get at a roadside stand here in Jacksonville. Super good, you need that granola. Now it's four o'clock, finally time to relax a little bit and watch my favorite TV show. I'm watching it all the time. So getting ready to portion out some of the girls' snacks for the week, which is a decent amount of the shopping that I did. Before I do that, I am going to take um, some more Eye Restore. They have hair gummy vitamins for hair, skin, and nails. I take these only during my eating window because they do have some calories in them, but I'm gonna take some of these now. So sending the girls to school with healthier snacks is something Carrie and I have been trying to work on, honestly, for the last month or two. So this is what we have been doing. A decent amount of the grocery shopping today was actually for, for girls' snacks for the weeks, trying to get away from sending them with like Nutri-Grain bars and Sun Chips, potato chips, things like that. We we're sending them with snacks, the go-gurts, which were really easy, but not necessarily the healthiest thing. So we are trying to make some improvements as a family when it comes to nutrition. And this is kind of what we're doing for the girls now for snacks. So we got a bunch of berries. We'll portion this stuff out. Um, they really like this dill dip. So we're gonna do the dill dip with some of these baby carrots, pre-portion out some of the turkey sticks, and then got oranges here. We'll cut these up, put these in little baggies. Again, so sending them to school with some proteins, some fresh fruits, um, some vegetables, things like that. And they have really enjoyed it as well. So I'm going to prep all of this stuff now. So snack prep is done, almost a week's worth of snacks. All right, time to cook dinner now. Gonna start, gonna preheat the oven to 375. The only thing I would have done different or could have done different was get them a day ahead of time and let them marinate for an entire day. These now have been marinating about two and a half hours. So now it's time for the asparagus. And I used to do the asparagus in the oven, like on a baking sheet. Um, but I did this the other night and I thought they turned out really well. It's made like a, a foil well. Put this in the air fryer, 390 degrees. I'm gonna let that go for about five minutes. The oven is preheated now, then I'm gonna put the salmon. I'm gonna do 375. I'm gonna let them go about seven minutes. At the seven minute mark, I'm gonna brush on some more of this, like baste it, and then I'm gonna put it back in for another seven or eight minutes. This will take about 15 minutes at 375 and the salmon will be done. Alexa. Set a timer for seven minutes. Seven minutes, starting now.
All right, so now I'm gonna put these back in for like five minutes. And then I'm gonna turn the oven to broil to like crisp up the top a little bit. We'll see if that works. All right, girls, dinner's ready. Go sit down, babe. I like the air fryer asparagus. Super easy, no cleanup. A little vinegar, salt, and pepper. I like that. All right, now it's the moment of truth. Time to try the salmon. Got some pineapple juice and soy sauce. That's almost as good as the bourbon salmon from Publix. That is so good. All right, go back and rewatch the recipe for that. I know I'm going to. I'm making this again. This is gonna be a staple for sure. As I'm eating it, I'm reevaluating my score, and I think I may like it more than the Publix bourbon salmon because I feel like it's not as sweet. So it's a little more savory because I think there's more soy sauce in this. This is amazing. Try this recipe. All right, so that is everything for dinner. I ended up having two of the salmons, a decent amount of the asparagus, and then it is just about five past seven right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close my eating window for the night. I have been doing that more recently, trying to finish my eating window between six and seven. I used to eat up until eight o'clock. I'm trying to push back my eating window so I have you know, a few hours in between my last meal and bedtime to get through a little bit of digestion before going into sleep. But that's everything that I'm going to eat for the day. All in all, I think a pretty good day. When I look back over it, over the entirety of it. I may have been a little light on protein, so I could have a protein shake, um, but I feel like total calorie wise, I have eaten enough calories, so I'm gonna go ahead and not have a protein shake tonight. Um, gonna just go ahead and call it there. All in all, I think a great day. That dinner was delicious. I'm looking forward to, uh, to how I feel tomorrow, I think eating the rice, kind of everything today. I think it was a great day of nutrition. So I'm looking forward to how I feel as a result of a good day of eating tomorrow. Thanks again for coming with me throughout the day. And thank you to iRestore for sponsoring today's video. Again, if you wanna check out iRestore and any of their products, be sure to check the link in the description and use code RyanJ for $400 off the purchase of the professional device. Again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Thanks again to iRestore for sponsoring today's video. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more, I'm gonna leave another one on the screen here now. Be sure to check that out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast, we're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.